Wait a minute. Okay, that's the correct game. Okay, so, um, yeah. Uh, welcome to the new Super Mario Bros. Wii, and there's all World 9s that I need to get rid of. Okay. Um, yeah, so, this is definitely a game that exists. Um... Ow, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's been a long time since I played this game, so... Um, a lot of this is... Kind of a blur to me. Um, I remember... A few years back, I think? I did a... I tried doing a multiplayer run that went horribly wrong. And we just said screw it to World 9, because at that point we were just done with life. But... Yeah. Also, Scrappy and Jason are here. Yep. Worst strippers ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, coconut. I, 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 that, I'm not responsible for that joke. That's I, I stole that from the Super Gamer Brothers, as anyone can tell. Yeah. Um, is that vetoed or, or do I even care? I mean. That toe design always stri uh, stri stroke me as like the OG, if you will. Red hat, blue vest. Yeah. But this is, I think this is the first Mario like Mario game to have like sin like a full single player multiplayer. Yeah. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. Well, yeah. well multiplayer. Wait, uh, in the sense that like everybody's like actually on the screen, screen at the same time. Everyone's on the screen at the same time, and it's not like right, a side yeah. mode. Right, yeah, right, because um, yes, we, we play, yeah, right, because yeah. um, a few a few days, a few about a week ago or a few days ago, me and Harry played Mario Super Mario World together, and uh, that's like big turns. Yeah, that, that's what they had to resort to for a while. I think there's a star coin around here. Um, oh, no, that awesome. one. Yeah. Um. Because I know that Nintendo were trying to get a um, multiplayer in a Mario game for a while. Like, 64, they tried to get Luigi playable, but it was a complete mess, so they just scrapped that. Uh, I don't know if they tried with Sunshine. And I know, and like... I thought that was 64's sequel and it just dried up. We're supposed to get Luigi. I f yeah, I... Yeah, well, I... It, it took me or is Nintendo struggled to get multiplayer in, in a cooperative sense raw like, like they struggle to get it right yeah because I know like, like Kirby is probably their best go at it yeah because I know um like with um the old 2 Mario games they had to resort to uh, just having like taking turns and all that and they couldn't like actually get it to be simultaneous until this game because I think even in New Super Mario Bros. DS, they had to resort to, like, a, a random, like, versus mode instead. Planning to have actual co-op in that game. Like, Nintendo yeah. Power was actually covering it as late, as late as, like, December 2005. Speaking of, like, co-op things that magazines and whatnot cover... Um, I remember... I think it, it might have been official Nintendo magazine, um, where they were, like... I forgot that was me. Okay, I think it's this one I need to go. Um, well, it's like Mario Galaxy 2 would have Mario and Luigi. Can you, go, can you not go in that pipe? No, like, that's an exit. That's the one oh. when you go. Yeah. Backtrack a bit. Um, talking about the game for a moment, um, did you guys play this launch year? Uh, I don't know about launch year, but I did play this relative when it was relatively new. Yeah, I play right, like... man with it all the time. I'm pretty sure I have to wait for this. Like, I remember this oh, taking a while. It's like they never come up again. The Mario pipe just to get down the back. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more back. Yeah, I think was it this hill? I don't remember. I know it's one of the hills. I think this is a fine game while we're on it. Yeah, we'll talk more but, about it, like, as we go yeah. through, but... Yeah, going back to the multiplayer, though, uh, when I was saying how much I struggle with to make it right, it's like, it functions, but the problem is these games are not designed around it. No. Like, two because, players, I think, well, is fine, yeah, but... Yeah, two players is fine because at least, um, things are, like, uh, not as cluttered and, you know, there's more room sure. to work with. The problem is, when you get three or more, 
Yeah, four especially. Then it becomes stupid. cluttered, especially okay, when you have to be precise platforming. Okay, precise I was platforming. wrong, my bad. It's especially when you have precise platforming. Yeah. Because the camera is the main problem with this kind of game. Yeah, especially when you get to like, world 7, 8 and whatnot, like, there's like, barely any platforms to move on, and uh, it's, right. just, it's just a hot mess. Yeah, especially since I can bet everybody who- anybody- it, it, I know like, you're, like, when you're playing multiplayer, you're kind of like- And I- I think the idea they're going for is like, everybody will like, take turns, like, wait, wait for everybody to catch up and all that, but, um, yeah. have they met it? But, but fixed, so that's, e that's much easier said than done. Yeah. I always- even when I'm playing with my cousins, I always- I just have this instinct to rush. Yeah. I can't- if they die, it's just because they can't keep up with me. Yeah, I-, I... You're an ass. <laughs> I'm not trying to be an asshole, it's instinctive, because I'm trying to play this- I'm trying to play this game as if I'm on my own, honestly. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't like playing platformers with, like, with other people, because I'm just- I'm usually on the mindset where I'm playing the game like I was- like I would be myself, and, uh, right. it's just- it just- it just feels weird, like, I feel like my- the pace I usually go at is just completely gone, and I just- it just feels off. Um, I still think, like, like I still think that, like, Kirby has the best of, like, Nintendo's multiplayer, only because of the- only because of the- how easy Kirby games tend to be. Yeah. And because of, um, the level designs are- are easy- are more forgiving as a result, because of all the flying and all that you can do. Yeah. Um, in fact, um, but I still don't think the games were necessarily designed. I still don't think like the term of Dreamland was necessarily designed around it. But Star yeah. Allies, Star Allies is completely designed around it. Yeah, yeah. Which, which unfortunately makes it too easy at points. I think it does. I, I still think it's a fine game. Yeah, I do like I I, I like Star now. Allies fine enough. Yeah, but... especially now that all the updates and all that happened. Yeah. Because without those updates, that game would have been really bare bones. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Um, but... Um... I still think the worst of Mario... Because, like, I, I think... I want to say that new Super Mario Bros. U is their design for the multiplayer. Um, I... Just, just a little? I'd have to play that game again to be sure of that, but... Because I feel like the levels are a bit... I feel like the camera just goes out a little bit more. Mm. But, like, I still think the worst of it, the worst of a lot of multiplayer, is unfortunately 3D World. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, um, here's the thing with let me, that. Let me, let, me, let, me state my, let me state my case first. Do I okay. Make? The, the, ca the fr a camera in a 3D environment, it jitters all over the place. Okay, yeah, right? I'd agree, I agree with that, yeah. And so it's like, you're getting like, pulled back, you're getting bubbled when you don't want to, you're getting killed off screen because the camera decides not to look at you anymore. Mm. The level design itself is fine, but the camera is way too intrusive. Yeah, I think like, level design wise, because it's a 3D space, it's more... It's a lot easier to have multiple people than 2D. But yeah, the camera thing is a pretty big annoyance. Like, once you hit like, the... Once you hit like... Like, levels that have, like, the, uh, like, like, anything that has, like, higher, like, like, a lot of, like, speed-up jumps and all, like, things where it's moving and all that, then the camera just decides to wig out. Mm. Although, that being said, I still would prefer playing 3D World Multiplayer with four people than these games, just because there's more space to work with. Um, so I, if, I, if I can give one more counter-argument to that. Mm. Um, what's it called, though? Live counter. Oh uh, yeah, that's fair. Because in the at least in this game, everybody has their own separate live counts. I do like that, yeah. But in 3D World, everybody shares lives. Yeah. And I've had days where, okay, for for reference, because I I played 3D World, I played a file on my own, and then I got I had like 200 lives by the end of it, right? Yeah. But. My co but it was my cousin's, um, uh, Wii U, so, you know, I didn't, well, I'm I didn't Oh um, my god, I'm surprised I'm getting so wait, many of these. Gonna, I was gonna say, you're gonna do it now. I'll bet the very bottom right. 
Yeah. All right. <laughs> Folks, um, Code Hell is our back from Super Mario Brothers. Story. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we haven't. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. wait. New Mario One. Uh, add them also. Never mind. Yeah. yeah I just wanna. Yeah. yeah. I just wanna. Just to finish up my point quickly first. Yeah. Um. Hey, the pro the, like I had I had to leave. I beat the the game without not counting the star levels at like 250 lives or so. I left. I left for about a month, right? Because mm -hmm. and um, apparently they were playing on my file. Oh, I think I remember you talking about this one. Too. And my life and and my life life count on that fly was suddenly twenty three. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. More of the story is I we I, I think I don't know about Scrappy, but I can I can definitely vouch for preferring these games single player. And I, even single player. When, yeah. e even when it comes to like other two D platformers. Uh, like Rayman Origins and Legends, I prefer single player. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Tropical Freeze, and all that stuff. Like, yeah, it just I'll get back. the fruit, Harry. Yeah, but but to 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 Rayman's credit, how the how the live system works and all that, and how the bubbling system works there is a lot is a lot easier to keep things moving. Yeah, it, the fact that it doesn't have lives changes everything. If it had a life count, it would probably yeah. be a lot more annoying. Legend and Ori uh, Legends of uh, I think I'll be a bit more specific. I think has the best of this kind of thing. Yeah. Even Kirby has a few problems with it, on only on occasion. Yeah. I appreciate how much more versatile Yoshi is in this game compared to Mario World. Unfortunately, uh, I, I I really hate the fact that he can't come with you. Yeah. Um. So we we kind of just skipped over the new power ups that we got. Um, I Ice Mario surprisingly this this is his first two D appearance. I think his first actual appearance is Partners in Time. Don't call me on that. Galaxy One. I think I, if I recall correctly. Um. um yeah, but, and I think there was a nice there was there for a little bit there was a nice Mario in uh, Galaxy came first, right? Galaxy came before this game. This was like two thousand nine. Uh, yeah, 2009 or 2008. Um, and yeah, Galaxy was 2007. Yeah, 2007. Yes. So, yeah, All right. this, this came out after. It, it always surprises me when I think that because Ice Mario is something you expect to be in like the old games, but it's just not. Right. God, good God, this game is at least 10 years old. Yeah. Yes, new Super Mario Brothers is old Super Mario Brothers now. <laughs> Yeah. I, yeah, it, it, it's like that. I wonder if and dude, I wonder if they regret calling the, the series that now. Yeah, I and they they went with the whole new uh, title for so many other things like Yoshi's New Island, uh, the new 3DS. Like I don't really, I don't really get why they did that. Nintendo of America employee did try and explain that like 2015 or 16, but I literally cannot remember the reason. Mm. Maybe, we'll, maybe we'll go look at this up later, I guess. Mm. Well, so this is gonna be a hundred percent playthrough, like all star coins, all secret exits. So we are gonna go back. And then there's this. I never really. This is, this is single player only, by the way. Yeah. So like, if you're playing, mul if you're playing multiplayer, Toad never happens. Yeah, so essentially, you'll just have a toad icon on a, uh, show up on a level so, uh, randomly, and uh, I, I'll just show this off. I pro I pro I'll probably ignore this uh, most of the time, but I think oh, after, just... the first, after, the, after the first time, I completely ignore it. Yeah, because you don't really, besides like, uh, Nabbit uh, in Mario U, uh, I don't think there's any real reason to go f to get the toads. Like you get, I think you get like three mushrooms, but Nabbit, Nabbit, Nabbit's at least potentially quick and over with. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice like quick challenge to grab him, and I think you get a a P A one. Star. Star. Better a star. Yeah, and um, if you get all all, na all the Nabbit uh sequences, you get an extra star in your icon. I think there's. Oh, forgotten oh, oh, there's a set of, oh wait, there's a set amount of them. There's a thing here. As you know, screw that. I wouldn't risk that. Yeah, Toad yeah. can die, by the way. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Oops. What? Well, that happened. All right. Nailed it. I can just. Oh, right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, just now. 
Um, unlike like the old Mar unlike Mario World, um, if you when you leave a world, like, when you leave a level, you completely have everything that you already had. So that's why we had the propeller suit again. Yeah. But going back into that scenario after we talked about the propeller suit, I like this power up. Yeah, I the propeller suit is a nice power up because it's like the the last time there was a one of the last times they had a. A uh, flight power up in 2D was the cape, and that was way too OP, so... And it had it the back you made a belovedly OP. It is fun, yeah, but I think the propeller suit is, uh, made sense, because... Just having, um, like, Imagine enough... having a cape in multiplayer. You can't, you yeah. can't spin with this on, can you? You can't spin with that on, can you? We'll hold toe, can you? No. Uh, I wasn't trying to, but... Oh, you got a three up. Okay, well, that's fine well, enough. You can do a spin jump, but not the full-on propel thing. Um, okay. that rem I, I do know that in, um, I think in, oh, oh yeah, right, that happens too when you save a toad. Okay. So some um, of I you, don't I even don't, remember. I, I know when, uh, oh, excuse me, I know when you're playing multiplayer, um, if, if you, whoever you're holding onto has a propeller hat, um, mm. then you'll fly. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, yeah, that's this. Okay, so you just shoot into you get one shot. You get one shot. Yeah. Like, this is something that's actually better in multiplayer. Yeah, because you get like yeah, everybody gets a shot. That's with all the that's why there's four cannons. I didn't know about this actually. If you time this just right. No, nah, that was crap. I was gonna say I think if you angle it just like you can also hit that balloon above you. Yeah, I probably could have just sh shot up. But oh well, I probably should have went for the uh, far, far left one. And then there's this. I think this is just guides. Yeah. This is what. Super, yeah. Oh yeah. The, these te these are just little hints that teach you um certain things. Yeah. It's a a microtransactions for hints. Love you, <laughs> Nintendo. If it was a microtrans no, if it was a microtransaction, we would actually have to play real money. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna just say this now. Uh, st I don't. I don't like the, how they use the star coins as much as they do in New Super Mario Bros. DS, because in that game, uh, you use the star coins to open up different areas in the map to play, like, secondary levels and stuff. Whereas this game is, like, at this point, you can only use them for the hints, and you don't actually get, like, a proper reward for getting the star coins until the end of the game. So it's kind of disappointing in that regard. I think I remember where the secret exit here is. No, I know what it, where it is. You have to go, like, higher up. You need Yoshi or just a power suit? Uh, I, f I can get Yoshi for, uh, just, just to be safe. Good point. Actually. Yeah. I can get Yoshi to be safe, but you don't need him. Yeah, what do you guys think of that, about the, like, new Super Mario Bros, like, theme, if you will? I like this one. Music? This is fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I like I like this a decent amount better than the DS versions theme. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorite versions of the theme, honestly. Yeah. Like in, like, in um, this, this, I think in, I think in two they have I think in two versions two they have like it's the same song so it's a few more added instruments to it, but it kind of feels a little. Off. It doesn't. It feels a bit over overdone uh trying too hard <laughs> no because like what it is it's literally just the same song with like an added layer of bars and it just feel it just it just feels like they're trying too hard to make it sound different and it just doesn't work i like the added percussion when you have yoshi by the way oh yeah yeah a nice little gag from all the mario games yeah yeah er yoshi always gets added percussion <laughs> yeah this way this way yeah. It would be nice if you could uh, bring Yoshi on throughout the game, but I can kind of understand why they didn't do that, because I feel like the way this game's designed, as opposed to Mario World, it would be much more of a mess. Because uh, Also, yeah, we're, uh, we're ignoring the cannon. <laughs> yeah, because like, Mario World, uh, one of your... Really the biggest major power-up was Yoshi in that game, so it made sense why the whole game was that was centered around him, but this game not so much. Alright. How would you say this game's difficulty is? 
Oh, it's been a long time, so I guess we'll if just I recall, see. If I, if, I, if I recall correctly, this is a pretty much a fair challenge. Like, nice, a nice consistent escalation. Yeah, I was actually... Um, how... You what? going? You going? As hard as the game is, depends on how many people you have with you. That's true. Well... I'd argue that's well, artificial I'm, I'm difficulty. About, I'm talking it single player. That's art if anything, that's artificial difficulty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like th that's artificial difficulty because it's not. It's natural difficulty. This is artificial. Uh, would you? No, mean? not really. The games are not. Yes, the games I, are actually designed. I'm, saying, I, I'm making an AI joke. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Aim. Stuff is artificial intelligence, so henceforth oh, it's okay. artificial difficulty. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. But no, um, no, I, I get what you mean now, but um, eh, I mean, it's it's been a long time Not since I funny. played. Not funny. Didn't laugh. <laughs> but no, I, I, it's been a long time since I played this game. So, uh, I guess we'll just see as we make our way through the game. But I do remember, uh... I remember, like, New Super Mario Bros. DS actually having some, like... It's more so when it comes to getting the secret stuff, like the star coins and whatnot. I was surprised at how much that game challenged me at certain points. So maybe I'll... Yeah, like, I, it has to be, like, two certain bosses as Mini Mario just to get through the world. Yeah. And uh, some star coins could actually be pretty devious sometimes. So I get maybe I'll be surprised with this game too, but we'll see. I think there's on one up on the other side. Oh yeah, they usually have like items on the sides before the boss. Hi, Larry. It's googling. <laughs> I love this you know, thing, right, by the I, way. I, yeah, I get. It's like a remix of the, I think the Hammer Bros theme, or like, it was like- The Mario 3 no, Fortress I've, battle. Mario 3 yeah. Fortress. Well, I know, I think it, I think it's the Hammer Bros theme as well. It's like, it's basically the boss theme of Mario 3. The Hammer Bros no, no, theme. No, no, um, in, in Mario 3, the Hammer Bros theme was like, da 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 and also, I know we're kind of sick of seeing the Koopalings nowadays, but, you know, this is their first time coming back in a while, so... Yeah, this is... The, the, I'll, I'll, I can... I'm fine with, the, like, this game, uh, because uh, it's the first time in a long time. Like, I think the lot before this game was, like, Superstar Saga, maybe? Um, yeah. But six years was considered a long gap. <laughs> yeah. I decided it really wasn't. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. Um... First appearance for them in six. Excuse me. Last appearance for them before this was six years prior. Last last appearance in a platform was 19 years prior. Mm. The Mario World. World yeah. One uh, unfortunately, one carry thing that's not carried over from DS is the fact that I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't get squished by that. All right. Um, one carryover is that you can't carry two power-ups at a time, which was something that was really handy in DS, so it's a little bit of a bummer, but... You know. Yeah, like, a la Mario World. Yeah. They do bring that back in Mario 3D World, thankfully, but I don't think they do it in any of these games. Uh, maybe... New Mario 2 on the 3DS. Right. Well, I haven't, I haven't played that in so long that I, I can't tell you. Yeah. But like, the, the, the console ones at least, I don't think any of them have like, the two power-ups. Pretty well, in it. mind, but it would just be another... Well, I'm talking about... Provide another opportunity for griefing. Yeah. My gosh, why are there so many of these? I don't remember there being so many of these cheap sheeps. They clearly want you to swim over them. Wait, what? Oh, right. Oh. I, I don't think I ever um... knew that was there. Alright, that was well hidden. I just kind of had to tank that. But yeah, swimming levels. Uh, yeah, I. It's a swimming level. I. I never really cared for them in 2D Mario, like in any game, honestly. Like free. Honestly, I pref I like them more in the 3D 3D games because, like, there's more freedom of space, and um, 
stuff like um, die die dogs or whatever is more. It feels like it's to deliberately slower paced and more relaxing. Um, and it just something about 3D Mario's swimming controls just feels better to control. Whereas like 2D always felt a little bit weird to me. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but I never really liked how it felt. I mean, it's a little better when you got the penguin suit, at least. Yeah, that's basically, yeah. It's like... Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't gone to that yet, but another power-up later on is the penguin suit. Yeah. And it's basically the Which ice is... flower mixed with the frog suit from Mario 3. And... Yeah, uh, with a awesome... Uh, you want to let that fall. Yeah. It's all... Okay. It's... The ice flower is also a... Is that green pipe? Maybe. The ice flower is also, um, and sorry, the, the, the penguin suit also lets you avoid slipping on ice. Yeah. So it's basically just a better ice, ice flower. Frog suits. I think the big fish is in here. I know what you're talking about. I don't think that's until a later stage. Ah! I hate those ones. <laughs> At least it's not Boss Bass or whatever his name is from 64. Like, forget the giant ill, like, uh, Boss Bass is what killed my childhood. Boss Bass at least when he kills you. Yeah. Can we kill- oh! oh! Clearly I wanted you to cope again to that, that, that stream of, of fish right there. Yeah. What? That clam, what happened to it? <laughs> They got eyes. Oh. I mean, what really just want? fell down into the abyss. Also, one other thing that, um, uh, about the new Super Mario Bros. games that I like is that every game introduces a new, uh, minigame or what have you with the getting the power ups. And, um,. I don't remember what the other get the what Mario U does offhand, but um, I do really like what they do. Um, item blocks. It's like don't hit the Bowser icon. Okay, kind of remember. Um, the one-up game was like canon to don't hit the Bowser icon balls. Right, but like um, I def I definitely. This is. Yeah, this is yeah. This this is the Hammer Bro theme. Yeah. I think it's just because they sound relatively alike that I mix them up sometimes. Hmm. Okay. But, um, yeah, they bring back that whole thing from Mario 3 where you have, like, an enemy on the field. Um, but going back to the Mushroom Houses for a sec, I really like these compared to Mario Bros. DS because... Like, with this, you get, like, multiple chances to get, like, different power-ups. Whereas in... Mario Bros. Like... So, like, if you need, like, a specific power-up for a star coin or whatever, you have... You can have, like, a bunch in your inventory. Whereas in Mario Bros. DS, uh, when you go to a mushroom house, you could only get one item and that was it. And, um, that made it kind of annoying when you needed a specific power-up for something. So I'm kind of glad they went with this style instead. Are we set? I don't think- I don't know. I'm just kind of randomly guessing. Bowser. I'm not too, too worried, but... Whatever. Whoa, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, li I like how that's the jingle that for that. <laughs> the Bowser's message. Yeah. Tickle. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that laugh scared the crap out of me as a kid. I like instinctively avoided all the locked doors because I didn't want to hear the laugh. <laughs> hate green, ah! hate green territories. <laughs> <laughs> I think he missed the star, by the way. No. Or like a power up? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's fine. One thing I, rem I remember 
world to having some really well hidden star coins, which is actually kind of a trend with the console Mario, uh, New Super Mario Bros. games, because I know, uh, uh, was it Mario U has like a random vine that's like hidden above a tree, and there's like barely uh. any indication of it. Well, like, remember one of those secrets that we missed in Mario World, and it took us forever to find out? Yeah. It's just like, how are we supposed to figure out where that, uh, secret exit was? Oh no, it was Yoshi's Island! Oh it was, yeah! Like, it was like, it was on that, it was like, I think it was in Touch Fuzzy Get Dizzy. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think you just, like, I had to go back yeah, and Yeah, like, it was like, it was, yeah, I had, I had, yeah, because it was like on a weird... Both rock and you stand at the very tip of it, suddenly there's a uh, hidden, like, arrow pin that you to jump on. That's great. And it took us to- and, and we were like, how do we do this? And then I actually had to look it up. <laughs> yeah. And the music- the answer to the music always threw me off. Yeah, I, I remember that throwing me off a little bit, occasionally, as a, uh, as a kid. Mm hmm Like, uh, just the way, like, Koopas and Goombas and whatnot, yeah. like, uh, Dance to to the bar. Oh yeah, it can throw it can throw off like their positioning and the timing. Yeah, because I can like be like I can jump on them like normal, and they just stop, and then I just get thrown off by it. It's it's more it's more relevant with the Koopas and the Goombas. Yeah. Uh, athletic oh, I, theme. I love I love this song. Yeah, this is a good theme. Yeah, the athletic theme. Yeah. <laughs> I think they, re I think they, I think, I think this got, I think this version of the song got a remix in on um, the Olympic Games. Hmm. Good. I think I, I remember the snow theme from. I think Mario that this game got remade in Olympics. I could be wrong. I think Brawl remixed on um, the ground theme as well. Yeah. Probably. That's... It remixed the. The main theme, basically, though. Where was going? I, I think it was. Oh, it's up there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the shenanigans music. Yeah, basically. <laughs> when I hear whistles, all I, all I can think of is you're not double dash. Yeah, that's like the whistling game. And I love it for that. Yeah. Especially with their version of the Rainbow Road or like Server Atlanta they did in um in, in uh in Mario Kart 8. Yeah. Um That's like wow. Yeah, um yeah, Double Dash is uh, definitely one of my favorite Mario Kart soundtracks. It's be it. I would say it's probably my second favorite, uh, like after eight. Yeah. I do have a connection to 64s, but never played it. Um, I'm not sure where I'd rank that because there's something about the game's uh, sound font that just sounds really magical to me. Yeah, I, I can hear that. The 90s mid be Harry. I've yeah. never. I I I I grew up with 64, but we never had Mario Kart in Mario Kart 64. Hmm. Probably the only person in the world who could save that. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't grow up with Crash Team Racing or Diddy Kong Racing, so... Well... That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I love Crash Team Racing, and I'm really glad we got Nitro Field minus the things. I'm not gonna talk about that. No. I'm burned out from the game, actually, at this point. <laughs> Although, I still, I still can't go back to, to Mario Kart, honestly. <laughs> Um, I have. I mean, the I haven't... controls are just so much better in in Crash. I mean, I haven't played uh, a specifically in a long time, but uh, I actually tried out Super Mario Kart for the first time on the from the SNES Online thing, and uh... Uh, I. I mean, I enjoyed it enough. Uh, I su I got into it surprisingly well considering Crash, but. There's a lot of, like, just little things that just kind of annoying in the long run, because I know, because, um, it's one weird thing about the AI in that game. They had power-ups so, for them. Yeah, basically, because, like, they don't actually... Can I actually get up here? 
Like there's like this, like, there's why there's like random items on the ground and all that that don't provide the power ups because because the AI is cheating. Yeah, they don't provide the power ups. They have their own items basically. Uh, Bowser has like this fireball that's not an actual power up in the game, and I and I know Mario and Luigi are by far the worst because they. Oh. You're about to die for a moment. I. Uh, I have no idea. I've, I didn't even know it was up here. Um. Yeah, they Mario and Luigi have stars, and they can just use them on a whim, which is... Oh my god! <laughs> which, you can imagine, would be annoying. <laughs> like, there's... You can literally just be uh, driving out to them, and then they just pull out a star, and you just get knocked back. And you thought getting Uka Uka or Aku Aku in first place was bad, dude. Yeah. Okay, no, it's just... To... <laughs> Then, then we have we have Mario and Luigi in the original game. It's your Mario Kart just pulling it out of our ass. Yeah, I'm so glad they didn't do that with the other games. I don't know if Super Circuit does die. I hope not. I haven't. I, it's been a while, but I don't recall them doing it. I, you mean Super Circuit? Yeah, I've never played Super Circuit. I have. I know that's the first game that introduced it, introduced ranks. Oh great. <laughs> In that case, screw you, um, Super Circuit. Yeah, because it's weird, because it's like, they brought- They had ranks in that game, removed them for Double Dash, and then brought them back with DS and kept it sense. So it's really weird. Yeah, you just had to win Double Dash. Yeah. And, uh, I- With DS and Wii, I- And Super Circuit, from what I can understand, um, I really it's don't like the re requirements. This is all hell. Yeah, I really don't like the requirements because it's not enough that you have to be first, but you have to be like first in like every race. You have to do it at, at a certain uh, amount of time. You can't get hit too many times and all this other arbitrary crap. And it's just why. And, and the, the problem with get you hit many times is it's Mario Kart. Yeah. Because I, I remember like actually trying to uh, get all the three star ranks in Mario Kart DS once, and um, the way I did that is doing the snaking trick. I don't know if you've heard about that, but it's um, basically it's probably the game that has the most broken drifting in the sense that if you if you just like rapidly like uh, mash the uh, left and right buttons and like just keep doing the drift, you can just do that con continuously uh, over and over again really fast, and that's basically the most optimal movement. But it also kills your thumb, so after a point I was just like, screw this, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> I actually did beat the game 100%, I got all- the, I, got every, I got the thing where everybody can use any cart. I remember getting all the star rankings, the three stars on the mission mode, and I did most of I unlocked Rob. I even unlocked Rob. Yeah, I unlocked Rob. I I don't remember his requirements, but you know, Harry, you can just kill this fight like right now. It's just stand the fireball. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Cause I think they'll die immediately if you just hit with ten fireballs. Yeah, I guess. Oh yeah, this is the first game where Kamek officially appears. Alongside Bowser Jr. and the Kooplings. Yeah, and it brings. I, I guess you could call that this a Yoshi's Island callback in a sense, where like Kamek uses uh, his his wand to power up uh, or like change something. You kind of jumped out there, Mario. No, it's too Iron. high. You jumped higher than that. <laughs> and you don't take fall damage in this game. <laughs> no harm in no, no, no harm in trying. I 